Over a million bricks have had to be placed and hundreds of tons of steel. London's newest All cinema in 1932, being built in the modern style in Morden. Here on your doorstep is a theatre equal to any in the West End, indeed the world. This was a golden era for the silver screen. And by 1934, there were around 400 cinemas across the capital. But then tastes changed. We wanted bingo and bowling, or just to stay at home with the newfangled entertainment, television. Today, there are just over 100 movie theatres in London. And so many of those grand Art Deco buildings, if they survived at all, have been engulfed, neglected and forgotten. So you wouldn't even guess as you walk down Stoke Newington Road that this was once the Savoy Cinema, cluttered as it is now by shop fronts and used, amongst other things, as a snooker hall. But inside, the balcony of the main auditorium has somehow survived, having lain undiscovered for more than 30 years. Among the pungent pigeon poo and perpetrators, decades of detritus and peeling paint, its faded luxury is everywhere. In the plasterwork, the gilded panels, the Art Deco architectural features. You feel literally like you're an archaeologist coming into some ancient tomb or something like that. I mean, it is just the fact it survived in London when property is at such a premium and so many beautiful old Art Deco cinemas have been demolished and still being demolished. The, the, this is a, an incredible survivor and it's sat here like kind of sleeping beauty waiting to be discovered. Well, the Savoy will soon wake up and be restored as a cultural hub. We will do Inuit throat singers one day and Japanese uh, visual artists another day. We will be in Latin America, um, Mali and desert blues players. So you have to bring artists of a great quality from all over the world, present them here on a stage, and that's what encourages the diverse community that is Hackney to come to a place like this and be here together. And now, let's on with the show. Wendy Horrell, BBC London News.